Good morning. It's Tuesday of Holy Week and this morning's reflection is from Luke's Gospel, chapter 22, starting at verse 54. I'm reading from Tom Wright's book, Lent and Easter for Everyone. It's Tom Wright's translation. They arrested Jesus, took him off and brought him into the high priest's house. Peter followed at a distance. They lit a fire and in the middle of the courtyard sat around it. Peter sat in among them. A servant girl saw him sitting by the fire. She stared hard at him. This fellow was with him, she said. Peter denied it. I don't know him, woman, he said. After a little while, another man saw him and said, you're one of them. No, my friend, I'm not, replied Peter. And after the space of about an hour, another man insisted. It's true, this man was with him. He's a Galilean too. My good fellow, said Peter, I don't know what you're talking about. And at once, while he was still speaking, the cock crowed. The master turned and looked at Peter, and Peter called to mind the words the master had spoken to him. Before the cock crows this very day, you will deny me three times. And he went outside and wept bitterly. The men who were holding Jesus began to make fun of him and knock him about. They blindfolded him. Prophesy, they told him. Who is it that's hitting you? And they said many other scandalous things to him. And when the day broke, the official assembly of the people, the chief priests and the scribes came together and they took him off to their council. If you are the Messiah, they said, tell us. If I tell you, he said to them, you won't believe me. And if I ask you a question, you won't answer me. But from now on, the son of man will be seated at the right hand of God's power. So you're the son of God, are you? They said. You say that I am, he said to them. Why do we need any more witnesses? They said, we've heard it ourselves from his own mouth. So in this passage, we hear of Peter's weakness, the bullying guards and a perversion of justice that's going to take Jesus to the cross. And ultimately, of course, his resurrection on Easter day. When we hear this passage describing Peter denying he knows Jesus, firstly by the servant girl, and then twice more by two different men who approach him while he's warming himself, tired and weary at the fire. We might think, how could you, Peter? How could you deny this friend and teacher who you've been following relentlessly for the last three years? How could you deny the man in whom you had so much trust and who you believed in so totally that you stepped out of a boat and walked on water? What was the sound of that cockerel crowing in his ear sounded like to Peter? In the one ear, he could hear the ghastly screech of the piercing sound as the cock crowed. In the other, the voice of Jesus, who had said to him the night before at the Last Supper, I tell you, Peter, before the cock, cock crows this very day, you will deny three times that you know me. And then just a week or so later, after a barbecue breakfast on the beach, Jesus asks Peter if he loves him. Three times, he asks, and as Peter insists that he does, Jesus affirms him and asks that he again follow him. Jesus will never give up on us. His love is relentless and his forgiveness knows no bounds. Amen.